Hey everybody, what's going on? Lab Dog, aka the Commissioner, aka the still reigning champ, here with a uh, week two breakdown of the match between the Denver Nine Tails and the PSG Paris Saint Germain. So let's get right into it. All right, so. Let's see, okay, Denver's bringing Alola Ninetales, Kong Kelder, Center Scorch Frostmoth, G-Max Grimmsnarl, and Noiburn. And PSG's got Gengar, Ferrothorn, Togekiss, G-Max Butterfree, Lapras, and Beware. So interesting to uh, bring Beware in this matchup. I don't see a lot of like, why you would want to bring fighting. Um, Probably expecting like a Butterfree Togekiss lead from PSG. I like bringing the Gengar in this matchup. And uh, we just saw that it'll be Ninetales and Kong Kelder to lead off for Denver. So let's get into this one. Both of these teams are 1-0. and So someone's walking away 2-0. and Someone's walking away 1-1. One one, so... You want to be in that 2-0 bracket. Last week, Denver did very well. I believe they had like five Pokemon remaining. Or maybe it was four. But they were one of the better teams last week. All right, here we go. PSG also did very well, having three Pokemon left last week. All right, look at those lovely trainer cards. Hmm. Love to see it. Oh, this is a spicy song. All right, we got Toad Kiss and Lapras lead. Interesting. Interesting. This isn't a G Max Lapras, so we got to see what he has in mind here. Setting the hail from the Alola Ninetales. Very interesting. Going straight for that veil. Start us off. And a rock slide. Well, that would be good if it connects. That would be super effective damage against both opponents. Um, Conkelder is probably slower than both of them, so it shouldn't really be a flinch chance here. Let's see. Yeah, so how's everybody enjoying the uh, season two, though? Doubles, very interesting. Uh, I'm still trying to get a hang of it. Next week's going to be very spicy, though. Free agency trades are starting in week three. So you're going to see some teams starting to reposition, move around. Uh, that'll be very exciting. I definitely have a lot of stuff I got to work on personally. Okay, swapping out the Lapras. Interesting. Sending in... Churlos, a beware. All right, here comes the veil. And a yawn into the Conkelder. Let's see how much damage this rock slide does. Hits both, that's key. Ooh, big damage to the Togekiss, okay. All right, and then Life Orb. And then we got Hail Damage, bringing Togekiss down to the red already. Very interesting. All right, let's see. So, probably gonna have to swap out the Conkella. Going for a Blizzard. That'll knock out the Togekiss if it stays in. And swapping out to... Senescorch, I think it's Senescorch. Noivern, okay. That's not bad because you're going to be taking out the Togekiss if it stays in and then you'll resist the fighting stab. If there's Noivern. Blizzard comes out. Takes down Togekiss. Does decent damage against the Beware. Probably uh, Furry. Oh, big damage. A Brick Break. Takes down the Aurora Veil. Right. Hail brings, oh, uh, not quite down to yellow, but still about about half health. So now let's see, does he want to get the veil back up? What's uh, PSG going to send in here? 
But we got Tolkis down on PSG side, nobody down on Denver side, still pretty close. They don't have the bail up anymore. Definitely going to be difficult to get it back up in this current situation. Okay, sends out Lapras. So there's the ice type for the uh, Neuvern. Might go for like an ice beam here or a blizzard. All right, looks like we got a moon blast into Charlos. And what's the Neuvern going to do? Going for an air slash perhaps? Nope. Air slash to Lapras. Tailwind maybe. I don't mind the air slash and the lappers trying to go for the flinch if it's going for the uh, ice beam. Oh, flopping out. If it's going for an ice attack, frost moth isn't bad to swap in. It would have the special defense raise in the hail as well. Nope, just goes back into Conkelder. Let's see. Ice Shard. Okay, that's not going to do a lot of damage against Pump Elder. Nope. Okay, here comes the Moonblast. Take out the Beware. So now Denver's kind of uh, picking up steam here. They have two KOs. They have two of their more offensive Pokemon out right now. Uh, I wouldn't hate seeing like a Butterfree coming in. It could do maybe like a max Airstream against the Pump Elder, get some speed on their side, and then start befuddling, getting some uh, statuses around. We'll have to see if that happens. Oh, Gengar. Okay, Gengar is good. Maybe Sludge Wave. A Protect on the Lapras and a Sludge Wave. That that could do a lot of damage against the Punk Elder for sure. And it would definitely take out the Nine Tails. Looks like Nine Tails is going to be swapping out. Frost Moth, so that would be good against the uh, potential Sludge Wave here. And a Drain Punch into Lapridge, so let's see. Special Defense raised with the Frost Moth in the Hail. Oh, lovely. Shadow Ball, okay, into the Frost Moth, it looks like. So this, that does some good damage, though. Might be a Specs, or Specs on the Gengar. Curse Lapras, interesting, interesting. That might allow it to survive this drain punch then. Let's see how much damage Punk Elder can get off here. Big damage, healing him back up, leaving Lapras at about 25%, all the way back at the pole. Gonna take some Life Orb recoil. I gotta think that's Specs. I don't think it would be Sash, so the hail damage doesn't really matter too much. Let's see what Denver does here. They're definitely in the driver's seat right now, six to four. Lapras is very weak. Hurricane's risky. I like a blizzard here. We know from the uh, preview screen that this is a choice spec frost moth. So blizzard's just like your best move to be spamming. And looks like a mock punch in a Lapras. I think this should KO. I mean, it does have the plus one defense. We'll have to see. The Gengar. All right, so the Mock Punch KO KOs the Lapras, which is huge. That was trying to set up and do some stuff. Might have been like a body press variant. Bayer from Shao Ball. Let's see how much this suspect will KO. Yep. Knocks with the Punk Elder. So, first KO for PSG. This one is going to do a lot of damage because now it's single target. Oh, yep. So now it's two versus five. Very big lead for Denver. Let's see how they play for it. So that leaves Butterfree and Ferrothorn in the back for PSG. All right, give them Ferrothorn. Shiny, gotta love it. Love to see it. And Butterfree comes out, okay. I would have liked to see this Butterfree in a little earlier, try and get like a kill with it and maybe some more statuses. But we'll, we'll see if, if he can turn it around here. So Frostmouse lock into Blizzard. Butterfree is gonna be the fastest thing on here right now in a heat wave. 
If these connect, this should double KO. Let's see, so we should be seeing the G Max here. Yep, ESG. I love that uniform too. You got the Chikorita Leafs and the green hoodie. The coach, Bill Belichick hoodie over there. All right, there's the G Max Butterfree. Going for a befuddle, I would assume, into a frost mob. How much damage will this do? Pretty good. That would be a two hit KO. Hair paralysis on the frost mob and a sleep on the center scorch. Those are some big, big status effects. Let's see. Oh, frost mob still has to be spared. Oh, and gets the blizzard. And the freeze on the Ferrothorn, that's huge. That's gonna cost PSG a KO this round. Oh, I was expecting maybe a Lumberry there, but no, it's just the leftovers. So, wow. Now they can just go for a Blizzard and potentially Heat Wave again. They already slept through one turn, so they have a chance to wake up this turn. About a 50% chance. Go for the heat wave. If either of these can connect, the puddle. All right, will this do enough to KO? There's no hail anymore, so yep, it'll it'll KO. Okay, so that's two KOs now. Sandscorch wakes up, gets the heat wave, hits both, double knockout. Same way Denver ended last week with a Sandscorch heat wave double knockout. Wow. And there goes Ferrothorn too. So Denver, with four Pokemon remaining, picks up another win, two and zero now. Awesome. Good job to Denver. Good job PSG. See you guys in week three, and we'll see some free agents, and we'll see some trades, and we'll be able to break that all down. Thanks, guys. Keep battling.